Hi, for this video I want to look at how we can make a very simple vase shaped like this with a cool pattern happening on it. Okay. To start off with then, we need to have a, um, a new part studio to work with. So I'm going to click on plus and create a part studio. Okay. Or you can create a new document. I'm going to start by working on the front work plane and click on sketch and then press end so I'm looking straight at it. Um, I'll start by just drawing a construction line first. So line, construction line together. I'm going to draw this down through the center, get okay, about a 70 mil um, long. Okay, so, so we'll take our dimension tool, click on this line, and put a, a distance on this 70 mil. That's fine. Okay, and we'll zoom right in just for this particular bit. <coughs> then we're going to take um, another construction line from this. I'm going to set this one here to be 10 mil. 10 mil there. Okay. And then press escape and then we'll do another one at the bottom coming out. And this time it's going to be 15 mil. So from here to here and 15 mil. Okay. All right. Brilliant. Okay, I'm um, just going to come off these tools for the moment. Okay, <clears throat> I'm now going to take my spline tool. I'm going to click on the top point there and then go straight down to the bottom. No, no extra points in place here. It's just that. Okay, press escape. So we'll just end up with a line, but it has these booleans on here. So let's just take off that there. So I can take my boolean handle and I can take this this way. Okay, so now it's becoming to look a bit sort of vasey shaped. But I want to set the, the angle of this part here. So I'm going to take my dimension tool, <coughs> click on my construction line, and then click on the boolean handle here. And that should give me an angle here that I can set. So let's set this to 45 degrees. Okay, there, that's fine. We can, we can adjust this later on if we need to. Okay, so that's, that's an interesting shape. Okay, so let's um, green tick that. So I'm left now with a profile and an axis that I can use. So I'm going to take my Revolute tool here, and I'm going to use my surface part, so not solid, surface. Um, we're going to click on the edge here, the edge of the sketch, and the revolve axis is going to be the construction line I drew there. And there I get a complete 360 surface um, tool um, shape there. But I don't want it to be um, that. I want it to actually only be um, 30 degrees. But I'm going to do it symmetrically as well. So I'm going to do symmetric. So that, what that does, it does 15 degrees one way and 15 degrees the other way for me across, um, over the, um, the work plane, the front work plane. Actually, no, it's the right work plane, isn't it? Right work plane there. This is, could be the front. Anyway. Green tick that. <clears throat> so now I've got a new surface that I can work on. Okay, so um, I now want to, uh, let's see, we're going to put um, another um, work plane that's going to be against this surface here. So I'm going to click on my right work plane here and I'm going to pick my offset tool. Okay, and I want this to be just outside that shape there. So that's about right. That's a 25 millimeters. That'll do nicely for me. So it's, it's outside this, this shape here. So we can rotate this around a little bit so you can see the effect. There we have it. There. Okay, so that's just slightly out offset from that 25 mil. Green tick that. <coughs> and I'm going to put a new sketch onto that new work plane. So make sure you've got the, the new work plane, the right one. Sorry, the um, plane one, which is this one here. There. So I've got a new sketch on that. Press N, so we're looking straight at it. Okay, um, for this, I want to first of all just establish what I want to use. So I'm going to use this tool here and click on the top line. So I'm going to zoom right in so you pick up the top line. So I'm going to use that. And then if we look down the bottom here, we're going to use this bottom line here as well. So they're both able to be used. Okay, because we want those to be for references. Okay, <clears throat> let's come off that tool. Let's pick our spline tool here. So I just want to get a nice sort of curvy shape. So I'm just going to click um, somewhere between the handle here, there, 
and then I'll just plot a couple of points coming down there. I'm not too bothered about position. I'll just sort of drag this up, and then we'll put a and then I'll get to the bottom here. Okay, that should do. I'll press Escape. <coughs> Come off your spline tool, and we can adjust this curve by taking the handles, pull it down to give it more of a sort of like a belly shape there, maybe. It's looking quite cool. Yeah, all right, that's good. Um, and I'm going to mirror this. So I'm going to take my mirror tool. Okay, my mirror line is going to be my center line here. And the entity I'm going to mirror is the other line there. So that gives me two lines like so. <coughs> and again, I can come with the mirror tool and I can fiddle around with the handles here until I'm, I'm happy with the shape. Maybe adjust it slightly, narrow it at the top, bring it in the bottom here, etc. Okay, so we're happy. Right, brilliant. Okay, green tick that. So now I've got a, um, a, an outline that's on a on offset plane that's against this shape here. So I want to to, um, to project this onto this shape here. So I'm going to take my split tool here. Um, the surface that I want it to split onto, so the face, is this surface here. Okay, and the um, so let's just select that there. And the entity I want to split with are these lines here that I've just drawn. There we are, there. So they've just then been projected onto that other surface there. Okay, green to that. So now I have two, my two lines projected onto that surface. Let's just hide our work planes for a minute so we can see it. There we have it there. Okay, so that now is dividing this section up. Okay, that's quite handy. We've, we've now got this divided up. So we can start to actually thicken various parts. So I'm going to take my thicken tool <coughs> and I want to thicken this panel here there by and I want it to go the coming outwards and we only want it to come out say one millimeter. And we'll pick up the other panel here as well. And that'll come out one millimeter. Now because they are um, they're not joined they are created as separate parts here but don't worry about that because we're going to boolean them later on. Okay. So that gives me my two shapes there. Okay, let's green tick that. And whilst we're there, we could also um, just do something with this um, surface here as well. So I'll take my thicken tool and we'll just click on that surface. Now I've got a choice. I could go backwards with it or I could bring it forwards. I'm going to bring it forwards again and this is going to be slightly less and this is only going to be um, 0.5 mil. Okay, there. And that should give me um, a raised surface like so. And again, I could go back into this and adjust this thickening a little bit more if I wanted to for that. I wanted to bring it bring it out a bit further. Okay, that, I'm happy with that for the moment. Um, let's now um, Boolean all this as one thing. So I'm going to take my Boolean tool here and I'm going to select all <coughs> three parts. Okay, now it has picked up a surface as well. We can lose the surface. So we're just going to have those three parts there joined together, green tick, and now that's all one part there. Okay, and we can probably close down our surface as well. So let's let's hide our surface. So we just have our one part there, which looks quite cool. Okay, <coughs> um, whilst it's there, I might um, actually I'm just going to change the color of it because it's a little bit dark. So let's edit appearance and let's make it um, a slightly lighter color there. You can see it better now. Okay, um, I'm going to add a, um, some fillets onto this just to round it off. So we take our fillet tool. I'm going to click on my outer edges here and just round those off. You don't have to do this, but it's, it um, enhances it a little bit. So they're rounded off at 0.5 mil, which is quite um, quite a narrow gap there. That should do nicely. Okay, um, And I might also do the lip at the back here as well. Is that going to work? It might not work. Uh, no, I think I might do that as a separate one, actually. I'll do that as a separate route and fill it. Um, perhaps a slightly less value for that one. So click on this, click on there, and rather than 0.5, let's actually 0.5 should work. Yes, 0.5 has worked. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so I've got my, my edges there. <coughs> okay, now let's see. We could pattern this now to make our complete um, cylinder or, or our vase shape. So let's. Um, Put back sketch one because that's got a nice construction line there for us. Okay, so we're going to use this axis. 
<coughs> scroll along until you get to your patterning tools. The one you want is the circular pattern. And I'm going to be um, patterning a part for this. So this part, this whole shape here. In fact, actually, I'm going to do something else first. I'm going to mirror it first. Sorry, my mistake on this one. I forgot this. I'm going to mirror it first <coughs> just to actually do a double one. So I'm going to take um, that part, okay, and the mirror plane I'm going to pick is this edge here. Okay, and that should create me with a double shape there. And that's quite nice because it's giving me a new part in the middle that looks similar to what I've got on, on these, these parts here. That works nicely. Okay, let's um, we'll merge with all on that one as well. Yep, and then green tick. There we are. Ah, that's better. That's looking more interesting shape. Right, let's, let's now circular pattern this. So I'm going to take my circular pattern tool. Um, the part that I'm going to pattern is this whole shape here. The axis is this upright line here. And that's already beginning to sort of create four separate parts. Um, I think you'll probably need six of these though, because the original part was 30 degrees. And six times 30 gives me 360. So we'll say six um, parts there. Okay, press enter. <coughs> and that should, yes, there we have, we have our complete vase shape there. Good. Let's green tick that. Um, and we could have actually on that, we could have, there was there a merge there? There wasn't a merge, but we're going to have to boolean this afterwards. So to boolean this, we take our boolean tool again. Let's um, highlight the whole shape like so. So we've picked up all the parts, okay? And then green tick that, and that's now boolean the lot. We can hide um, sketch one, because we don't need that anymore, okay? And there we have our vase shape. Now there is a great big hole in the bottom, so let's see what we can do with that. So um, I'm going to just show you on the cross section. So I'm going to take my cross section tool here. So section view. Um, I'm just going to put my work planes back on so we can see our work planes. I'm going to pick a, pick a work plane that we can actually work with. So let's see. Let's um, pick our uh, right plane. This one there. Okay. And we can just have a look and see what we've got here. Uh, let's hide our planes again. Okay, so when we look at the bottom of this here, zoom right in. So we've got a bit of a surface that we could use, um, but it's quite thin here. So let's see what we can do. We can probably use a fill tool to fill this in. So let's close our section view. Let's turn it upside down. <coughs> and I'm going to highlight just this line here and use a fill, fill tool. So on my drop down here, or this drop down here, there we go. I'm going to take the fill tool. I'm going to pick that line there. Yep. And that's going to that's the edge of the thicken just around here. I'm going to use that to actually create a surface. There we have a new surface there. So surface two. And that surface can now be thickened. So if I click on that surface, click on my thicken tool. <coughs> and that should thicken that. Now, again, if we put our cross section on, uh, let's just close that. Um, yeah, let's put our cross section back on. So that is, uh, oh, let's green tick this first. Yeah. Now we'll put our section view and we'll put our planes back on so we can see which one we're looking at. So we had our right plane selected. There we are. So you can see there by default that thicken has actually created this quite a thick base there. We don't want it to be as thick as that. We, we only want it to be um, about three mil thick. So I'm going to drop this down to a, um, a lower part there. So we'll leave our section view on. That's quite handy. Let's go back to our thicken that we had here. And instead of it being five mil, let's make that only two mil. Okay, there. Um, in fact, we can probably even do one mil, actually. One mil. There we are. Okay. And I think I'm also going to change the direction as well. Um, actually, no, no. I'll leave it on that. that part there. That's fine. That's giving me a base. Okay, green tick that. And then if I want to actually get that to join up with the surface on the inside here. So um, we've got a surface here we can pick up. Let's take our uh, move face tool. That one that'll do. I'm going to zoom it. I'm going to pick up that ring on the edge there. there. And I'm going to move it until it hits this surface here. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to set it to up to entity, and the entity I'm going to hit up to is this um, thing here, and that should zoom into that part there. Yeah, let's green tick that. 
and that should have filled in that space for us. Oh, we haven't quite done it. Um, let's try it. Let's try that again. Let's go to move face instead of up to entity. Let's take that just as a blind, but we'll set the distance. Let's set that to be two mil. How's that looking? It's a little bit wide. Let's do it to one mil. How's that looking? That's better. That'll work. Okay, green tick that. And that's filled in that space there. Okay, now again, I've got two parts here. So I'm going to take my Boolean and I'm going to pick um, on part one and part two, which is my new base. Okay, and that should lose this um, red part that we have at the bottom here. There we go. Green tick that. And that should intersect that nicely for us. There we are. And now I have a base on my on my bars as well. Okay, that's worked. Good. Now, <clears throat> last thing, let's put our section view off. Turn section off, and there we have my bars. Let's take the work planes off, and there we have our bars shape. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's all editable. So I can go back to, let's see, sketch two on here. Okay, let's put um, our end view, and we can adjust any of these parts here, provided we keep within the surface. There's the surface there. So let's try, let's drag this down a little bit further here. We could narrow that off a little bit there. Yeah, green tech like that. It'll refresh itself. And there we have a slightly different shape to our bars there. So it's fully adjustable, all this. Okay, so there's my bars. Let's lose the lines on it without edges. And there we have our bars. Let's put the origin off as well. Put the origin off. There we have it. There. Bars with the base all set up. Okay, cool.